Welcome to the Tarop Inspector user interface where you can select a mission, select a robot, um, load available checkpoints and a map. The user interface runs on an ATEX certified tablet. It's really easy to use. You can use your fingers to select various maps based on different levels or floors that you might have in your facility. You can enable and disable checkpoints just by swiping your finger. Um, everything is touch and gesture based, so it's really easy to use. You can also arrange the order of checkpoints and then the red pass updates and also the mission duration in your right bottom corner updates according to the sequence my colleague takes. Now, um, my colleague has just pressed the start button. So what happens here is that the mission is uploaded from the user interface to the cloud, processed there, and then downloaded to the robot, which instantly starts driving to the first checkpoint. What we have here is a, a test center. We have um, actual floor gratings. We have various pipes, vessel pumps, valve style gauges in order to resemble an oil and gas environment. Now the robot has um, approached its first checkpoint, has stopped and it extends its arm in order to look at the dial gauge. It uses a 16 megapixel camera to take a high resolution image here. As soon as the image is taken, it's uploaded via 4G or Wi-Fi to the cloud where it is further pro processed by um, machine learning algorithms. Yeah, you see the raw picture that the robot has taken. And as soon as the cloud has processed it, you see here an augmentation where the actual dial gauges are detected. Also the checkpoint is marked in, in green so that you know, you know, this one has been finished. Now the robot goes on to the next checkpoint again extends its arm in the arm we also have uh, the possibility to include a gas finding thermal camera so you can both see gas leaks and measure temperatures very accurately again this is also um, it's also possible to process this data in the cloud um, in addition, we do have a microphone, so we can capture audio and analyze noise. For example, determine if a pump is running normally or if a bearing is broken. Here you see the picture from the third checkpoint. And again, um, the cloud image processing algorithms have done their work and now the result can be shown here. We have a quite easy to use API that enables us to work together with third party vendors that can do data processing for us. For example, the image recognition uh, that you see here or the sound sampling can be in fact done by third party applications. Here is another checkpoint there you see our cameraman, but also a valve. <laughs> and now the robot has stopped and it says obstacle detected because someone has left its toolbox here. Um, so once it is removed, the robot resumes on its normal path in order to localize itself and also to detect obstacles, LIDAR is used. The robot is, of course, uh, fully ATEX certified for Zone 1. That means it can uh, also operate in potentially explosive environments. Mission time can be up to two hours on a single battery charge. Uh, 
then the robot would return to a docking station where it is automatically recharged until it's ready for its next mission. The robot can, can be controlled from anywhere. Uh, we did a test where we controlled the robot that was located in Vienna out of Houston, Texas, and it worked flawlessly. Now we approach our final checkpoint here. What you see here is the actual output from the Android tablet. So we did a screen capture there. What also happens now is that uh, smoke is appearing inside our test center. What happens next is that a general platform alarm has been triggered. Now the robot reacts on that general platform alarm by listening to it. So it does a Fourier transformation in order to determine whether this alarm is going off or not. Uh, and now it actually notifies the user that the GPA has been detected. So what the user now does, it takes over manually, um, goes to teleoperation mode with its tablet PC um, in order to find out what's going wrong here. Um, so the robot can be fully teleoperated just by any Android or iOS or Windows tablet for that sake. Can be driven by uh, virtual joysticks by basically uh, pressing your thumbs against the display. It's super easy. Uh, even a child could do it. And there you see nicely this not the smoke appearing. We have in total five cameras on the robot, four in a 360 degree configuration so that we can capture seamless 360 degree videos. Um, and one high-resolution camera inside the arm. The robot also has light, so it can work in absolute darkness. Thank you very much.